In this video I'm going to take a look at casino games in Red Dead Redemption 2 online and whether or not it's actually a realistic update that we could see made in the future. The most desired game that the community seems to want within this casino game sort of genre is poker so I'll focus on that in this video. It's also a subject that I know a little bit more about in terms of online than other casino games. As I'm sure you all know already, poker can be played in Red Dead, but only in story mode. This is obviously a good sign for the game being introduced into online, as it's already been coded and tested in story. But there are multiple issues that need to be considered when taking a game from offline to online mode. The first thing that can be seen as a point in favour of poker being possible for Red Dead Online is the fact that there are two in-game currencies, dollars and gold bars. Unlike GTA that only has dollars, the gold bars create a split that can separate microtransaction currency from normal game currency. In Red Dead, the likely currency that would be used for poker is dollars, the type of money that can't be purchased with real world cash, which would help separate the mini game from being considered to be actual cash gambling. Also, the fact you can't withdraw money from the game and make a real world profit obviously creates a further distinction from devoted poker sites like Poker Stars or 888 Poker. However, if Rockstar did introduce gambling minigames where there were no caps on how much you could stake, this would without doubt lend itself to real world trading. And I'd say that the concern around developing an economy like FIFA a few years ago, where purchasing in-game currency on third party websites was rife, is enough to put Rockstar off of introducing poker or other casino games at all. Although it doesn't seem to be as common nowadays, there are a load of examples of real world economies that thrive off the back of exploiting in-game economies. One that's brings to mind is RuneScape and yes that is still a thing. As a game that encourages player to player trading it makes it a simple process to purchase in-game money from third party sites. Then when you've paid your real cash you meet in a quiet back street in Varrock to complete the deal. Gambling games in Red Dead could absolutely be exploited to trade cash between players and create an issue seen in gaming time after time. If there were no caps on gambling limits, two players could jump in a poker game and as soon as the seller knew their cards were terrible, they could let the buyer know and fix the hand to make sure the buyer won with that better hand and then simply fold every hand that wouldn't work. This would of course only work in a 1v1 game, but if you combine the real world trading concerns with the legal grey area around gambling within video games, you can start to understand why the developers might consider it more hassle than it's worth. Despite everything that I've mentioned so far, there are a few ways that Rockstar could introduce poker and other gambling minigames without running the risk of falling into these issues. Rather than actually allowing players to bet however much they wanted, it could be capped so low that the real world trading just wouldn't be worth the time. Or it could be set up in the same way that you join an online PvP match. You're matched with random people and it's treated like a tournament with first, second and third cash prize, which would take it even further away from the grey area of gambling. This tournament style could also be done in free roam, but I think getting a table full of players in this scenario would be quite difficult. When I was researching this video, one thing did jump out at me, and it's that the mini game could just be boring. Poker games can go on for hours and sometimes days, so if they were introduced into the game, it would have to be in a way that kept the game short and enjoyable for people who may not have the patience to spend all day playing a game of poker on Red Dead. Mobile apps like Zynga Poker manage to do this very well with specific game modes that force players to make their moves within a certain time frame. You could also increase blinds every few hands to make players play in a more risky way and overall just speed the games up. Without doubt, Rockstar introducing poker is possible, but it might not be in a way that we'd all like, which I'm guessing is uncapped games that you can play with your friends in a casino or a saloon. And if poker and other casino games were introduced, would they even be that popular? Bringing them into the game in a watered down way, which is the only way it would feasibly be possible for the developers, would probably be very underwhelming eventually, as I imagine the novelty of the games would wear off pretty quickly. Unless of course the reward for playing the game was very high or you had that excitement of actually gambling your in-game cash. In my opinion though, I would like to see casino games introduced into Red Dead Online, even if it's in a limited way like I suggested previously. But whether or not we'll actually see this in the future, I am not holding my breath. Let me know what you all think. Is this something you'd like to see in the future? Or would you rather Rockstar just focus on developing more game-changing updates like houses or new transport options? It would be great to hear from you all and I read every comment, so let me know. Also, feel free to message me on Discord too. I've got a server that's full of the nicest people I've ever met online, so you're more than welcome to join us in there. The link to that is in the first line of the description. 
If you want to hear me go on a little bit of a rant about the current state of the economy in Red Dead, then click the screen now or the other link in the description to my video, You Can't Trust Rockstar. Thanks for watching. I'm James Cookie. Cheers.